meteorologist Jamie Warner, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Uh, we are on the uh, now on the back end of this winter storm. We're sort of in the cleanup phase, if you will, of this winter storm. Cold temperatures is what we're still dealing with. Snow and sleet still on area roads. We got to deal with that, but things are getting better because we should not find any additional precipitation in most of the area out of the storm. 19 outside right now, mostly cloudy skies. I mentioned this. Uh, we've been flatlining in this frigid zone going back to Sunday. Temperatures on Sunday slid through the 20s throughout the day. We got into the low 20s by early evening and we've been in this five to six degree trading range since then. Uh, we had a morning low of 16 on Monday with an afternoon high of 21. Today we had a morning low of 17 with an afternoon high of 22. Any way you slice it, it is very, very cold, uh, much colder than normal even, even for late January. Things are going to be getting better tomorrow. We've got some changes in the works as we're finally going to see uh, this Arctic air mass get nudged back out of the area and we're going to see a little bit of sunshine as well. Now, as far as radar is concerned right now, most of the area clear of any snow or sleet. There's still a little bit of lingering snow and sleet shower activity uh, here from about evening shade northeast up to about Donovan. So this area is still getting clipped with a little bit of uh, snow and sleet. The rest of it, so it is dry. It'll stay that way throughout the night tonight. I do want to point out, though, uh, we are still looking at a winter storm that is ongoing across Texas and southeast Oklahoma and Arkansas and in northwest Mississippi and western Tennessee and Kentucky. So if you are traveling in the region to the south or southeast, Please be mindful of that. Uh, this storm, the reason why it's persisting, it's still anchored back here in the southwestern United States. Until we get that storm to move out of the southwest, and that's not going to happen for a couple of days, this part of the country from Texas across Arkansas into Tennessee and Kentucky is going to continue to get uh, coated uh, with freezing rain, sleet, and snow, uh, creating uh, major issues on roads in those areas. Here locally, though, again, things getting better, uh, mostly cloudy overnight tonight. I think tomorrow is going to be a day where the cloud cover that we have is going to be fairly high up in the atmosphere. It's going to be fairly thin in nature, so we're going to have some sunshine tomorrow, partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow night we see some freezing rain and sleet trying to edge north back here in the northern Arkansas. Looks like it's going to tend to stay south of a Jasper to Mountain View line and then it'll shift off to the east and then we get to Thursday and on Thursday clouds are going to try to thin out from northwest to southeast so that most of us will be enjoying mostly clear skies as we work through the afternoon. So we got sunshine coming our way too. Uh, as far as where that uh, little layer of freezing rain and sleet could occur, Again, Fayetteville, Jasper, Marshall, over toward Mountain View. Could see a little bit of accumulation. North from there, we're going to stay uh, wintry weather uh, free. Uh, temperatures tonight, they're going to fall off to about 14 for a low. Looking at a high tomorrow ranging from the upper 30s north to mid 30s here in Springfield. And it may be tough to get above freezing here in this zone where we have about one to two inches of sleet and snow on the ground. That's going to tend to refrigerate the air just above the surface. Now on Thursday, Things are looking better. Uh, looks like we will find again a sunnier day developing highs in the mid 40s north to upper 30s to low 40s off to the south. We will get a shot of cold coming in Thursday night, so that's going to kind of create a little bit of a hiccup in this warming trend. But as that high slips off to the east, winds become southerly again on Saturday. Stay that way through Sunday into Monday, and that means a warming trend. Check out the temperatures through the weekend. After a chilly finish to the week, we're up near 50 for a high on Saturday, 55 in sunshine on Sunday and Monday of next week. There it is. I think we're going to be looking at a high around 60 degrees before it cools off again and we deal with rain showers on Tuesday. But even cooling off, it's close to being normal. That's yeah, that's pretty close to normal yeah. for this time of the year. And you know, I mean, this is I was talking to somebody earlier. They're like, ah, you know, I just don't know if I could take any more of these winters here in the state of Missouri. But I tell you what, at least here in Missouri, we do get cold weather. We do get winter weather, but you can sure. also maybe look forward to milder weather within a week. Right. And that's what we're going to find with this one. Yeah. All right. Having the 60s sprinkled in, can't complain about it. It makes it better. Yeah. All right, we're going to take it to Dallas for a strange story that's getting started.